but not least Locrian.
Why make a video about a one octave scale in C for the right hand only? This video is based on a simple enough premise. The C scale fingering for the right hand, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, that everyone learns in basic piano. It can be brushed and blocked in both forward, upward, and reverse downward motion. <clears throat> it can be used on loops that have as few as four notes instead of the five finger position and other intervals less than an octave for an octave and a little over an octave. Any number of scale or passages can be generated, composed, and improvised as this video does, in each case using the finger assignments, thumb for the root, second finger for the second, third finger for the third, then cross to the thumb for the fourth, not the fourth finger, which would be the home position. The fourth finger only plays the seventh in one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Four is only in the seventh place. <clears throat> the second finger plays the fifth, not the fifth finger. The third finger plays the sixth. The fourth finger, as mentioned, plays the seventh. For the octave, we are mostly using fifth finger, but that can be a thumb for just one note or a succession of notes like a trill. Fast rebounds, once again. The fingering for C on the piano right hand octave scale is the same for the set of key, sign key signatures <clears throat> guitar players refer to as caged, C-H-E-E-D, plus B. That's six keys. We will be looking at practice techniques of nine scales major Ionian, three minor scales, i.e. Aeolian, natural, minor, <laughs> harmonic minor, <laughs> jazz minor, of Dorian, Phrygian, Mixolydian, Locrian. If a student is running for the textbook for any of these nine scales in C, it's time to loop your plus or minus one octave scales All of them, 54 of them. Most need and much use of scales and modes in improvisations, songwriting and compositions is for incomplete scales under an octave and up to the 13th, that is, less than two octaves for upper structure triad limit of chords in thirds covered elsewhere. We aim to show how many things are possible with just one fingering, one, two, one, two, three, four. The first fingering taught. We want to make sure we can play these patterns and make up similar ones in major Ionian, minor Aeolian, minor melodic jazz, minor harmonic, and additional modes of Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Locrian, in keys caged, C A G E D plus B. That's six key signatures, half the key signatures out there as the hand plays, all with the same fingering. The entire video is this same fingering, and only in C without traveling to all the other keys yet, but it's 100% transfer transferable to aged plus B. What started as an improvisation led me led to me liking some of the patterns and wanting to give students something to practice. So I uh, transcribed a bunch of them. The 
the full page PDFs are at the end uh, of the video and can be downloaded from YouTube site. Uh, click on the title. It's not exactly the same ones. There's a few different ones in the PDFs that aren't there and, and altered versions of them because the uh, entire video was transcribed uh, um, for the notation, but it was improvised originally. And the only breakaway from the scalar fingering are the examples that show the five finger position in the right hand with the fourth and fifth finger on the fourth and fifth, basically to point out not to do it once the going gets fast um, and that you're always better crossing over um, from the third finger to the thumb, even for that one note as shown in some major and minor examples. Also, any pattern that may, may only be shown in one scale um, it can be practiced in any of the scales um, or is the rhythm uh, techniques. Um, they're all transferable to any of them. But we're not going to do every articulation, every rhythm for all of them in one sitting because that's, that's um, a lot of redundancies. We're looking at nine versions of um, in the key of C. And you need to be able to run up and down and looping up and C, down and C, up and C Dorian, down and C Dorian, up and C Phrygian, down and C Phrygian, etc. Shift the modes up and down, all with the same fingering. They all have a perfect fifth, except for Locrian. Okay, so now um, w watch the video. Also listening to it as um, 432 hertz piano. And um, it should successfully trick you into several times into not thinking you're listening to scales. Listen to all 20 minutes of it. and But some of them aren't going to sound really like scales. But then the brushing technique leads to a couple of them that are triple time fast, like 30 second notes, like flamenco guitar. And that's the goal of this practice technique. And... Um, What's the use of having a couple half-baked four octave scales that you can't even use and then uh, going up to look mode names for anything besides major? All right, so uh, le learn these within one octave and it'll be easy to turn them into two and three and four octave scales. And the left hand will be covered in other videos as will the uh, two and more octaves for the right hand. But um, and the other uh, six keys for the right hand, for that matter. But this is such a major fingering that it's got, it generates uh, nine scales and six keys, 54 different units with one fingering. And every single pattern can be done in any of them. So we multi-sample from some of them. So we're um, conversant in that kind of thinking and can do uh, most of them either um, automatically or on short notice. But we practice with at least the ones that are written out in the PDFs and see what that inspires us. They were Some of the ones that are plus or minus an octave were originally intended to be um, exercises and extra finger crossings. But when they played with the right touch, they actually sound like good musical devices. And that's what composers do. That's what improvisers do. In jazz, they talk about this or that scale. Well, what are you going to do with the scale? You're going to play it only up and down to the octave and back down, starting on the one. No. Most of these start on the one just, just to standardize something. But um, we're going up partial uh, octaves, like up a fourth, up a fifth. Up a fifth is the five-finger position. Up a sixth, up a seventh. The up and down or up only, like the seven up ones. And you go up above the octave to the ninth is really cool, etc. Figure up to about the 13th, the limit of the um, upper structure triad, um, the scale in thirds, is, is in the category of less than two octaves. <clears throat> I 
and are worthy of study. Uh, some of the natural minor ones go up to the 11th or maybe the um, 12th. I don't have any really going up to the 13th, um, but theoretically they could because we, we, we break every major scale or minor scale or every whatever the scale is. If you take the odd numbers, root, third, fifth, seventh, then the ninth, 11th, and 13th are the upper structure triad. And so we can still fit those. It's like on, on um, guitar, that's about the limit of what you could fit on one string. If you have a lot of frets on your guitar, you get the octave at the 12th fret. And the, you get a number of more notes above it. Not that you're going to play them all going up one string, but if you did, you basically have two octave limit per um, per note. And the halfway point is one octave. So that's why we're studying scales and how to use scales of one octave, plus or minus. It's very important to know, because that's actually what you need to play. Um, there's less use for scales of more than two octaves. What you need are scale fragments that change. Um, and when you change modes, you know that mode. So um, these nine scales in all, in all 12 keys would be 108, right? But we got 54 of them on this video because the... There's one, there's four fingerings for the right hand and six of them. There's four fingerings for, um, 12 keys as the hand plays and six of them are this fingering. That's why it's just one video. There's also four fingerings for the left hand. Five out of the six will have the same fingering as this, the caged ones also, but the additional one will be F not B. Not B. That's about the end of the preamble. So um, watch it. Other than one additional point, a lot of these are conceptualized in seven because you get seven notes uh, up and then from the top note, um, go, as long as you're still moving, you get a new one. Um, so you never arrive till the last one. So the, so many of them are conceptualized in seven, and that gives them a unique rhythmic feeling that solves an issue that some traditional methods have with trying to fit everything into boxes of uh, pieces of eight, boxes of eight. Um, if you do that, you you land in the middle of a bar, which is fine, but then you have to know how to use that, and it, um, so we play them in seven.